Hi, I'm Don Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Voxengo Gliss EQ for PluginBoutique.com. It's an amazing filter with some really clever tools built in, so let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So this is the default layout of Gliss EQ. As you can see, it's obviously an equaliser, but it's got some really clever tools built into a really functional layout. There's a bunch of presets built in here, with options of A being between the different settings to compare. There's also a routing option here where you can choose to give the mid-side signals a different EQ curve or even treat the 5.1 surround. Over here there's a wide view mode for those of you that like the graphical side of things. There's also a really cool option here to set the oversampling rates which gives a much more accurate form of equalising. Below these there are a few things like the zoom level which you can choose between 3dB and 30dB along with underlay colours so that you can colour code your different parts. There's a static button here which if I click it a pop-up window appears which allows you to take screenshots of the graphic. And then you can overlay it onto your current window which can be really handy for trying to copy EQ settings from reference files. And over here there's an areas button which is really cool. Uh, if I click on this and choose base for example and then zoom into that coloured section that's just come up, you'll see that Gliss EQ has now given me a bunch of reference images showing me what notes are in what frequencies, which can be really handy for tuning things like bass notes and kick drums. However, if I change the drop down to basic, you can see it's showing me where to expect instruments from drums, bass, guitar, to vocals, high range drums and presents. Then finally, if I change the option to drums, it shows me the full range of drum sounds all split into their component frequencies. So for example, if I was just treating a tom drum, then I would know roughly where to EQ or to add or subtract the tom's body or formants. And then if you're often working with different vocalists or synthesizers, for example, you can actually hit the edit button of these areas like this and then input your own underlays. One of the other cool things about this EQ is the ability to invert the curves here. So if for example I grab a range here and pull a curve down, then I can hit the invert button and flip it around. This can actually be really handy when you're trying to find an annoying resonance area in a sound that you want to actually take out. And it's obviously much easier to lift the curve up and drag it across until the noise sticks out more. And then you can just hit invert and cut it out. Then for actually controlling the EQ itself, each time I select one of the curve points, you'll see that filter being selected down in the bottom left hand side here. This is where I can choose what kind of filter it is, and there are loads to choose from, like peaking, inverted, harmonic, plain, low and high shelves, low and high pass with 12 or 24 dB roll-offs, notch filters, band pass, and some smoother low pass and high pass 6 dB per octave filters too. Then of course you can control the frequency, bandwidth, gain and dynamics which I probably need to explain. So let's say I grab this first curve and set it to be a low shelf type with a frequency of around 150 Hz and bandwidth of 1.5 and the gain is fine where it is. Now Gliss EQ isn't just a normal EQ as it can actually read the amount of energy being received into that selected frequency and essentially compress the amount of equalization being applied. So I've got a drum loop in the background and this should be EQing the kicks and low end. So let's give it a play now and see what the dynamics does. Now the last section in this plugin is another really cool one, which is the spectrum box over here. If I just play that drum loop and hit the hold button like this, I can now change the colour of that like this. Then I can export it to slot 1 like this. And now I can load up another channel with an instance of Gliss EQ and then import that channel here to see both running simultaneously like this. So 
So that's the basics of Gliss EQ and it's available via pluginboutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon.